So we've talked about the need for grid, and um, I think it's quite clear that, that if you want one, in the old days, we had to build them. In the old days, you know, we put them together, we put together the servers, we found out ways of connecting them, we got some middleware, in fact, we bought middleware in the end. We needed a specialist team to look after it. Nowadays, in this day and age, we don't need to do that. It's a more mature market. And these are some of the reasons why. For example, we don't really know how we're going to scale our business. This is a graph of uh, the number of cores over a year, up to 2,000, of you know, a, a canonical customer. You start with a couple of hundred because you think that's what you need. The business grows. You become more and more profitable. And you need suddenly a step change. And we see this all the time. We need to buy another. Actually, normally, it's numbers of 576. That seems to be the amount of cores that you can buy in a single packet at the moment. And that's where the vendors are selling. But uh, you need a couple of hundred cores. And then you need another 500 cores. And suddenly, you go from zero, 200 to 2,000 in, in 12 months. And that's not unusual. It's one of these, you know, the more you use it, the more useful it becomes, the more beneficial. And then, uh, I mean, I, I certainly remember in the old days taking you know, a, a model and separating it across 10 desktops. And it's suddenly running you know, five or six times faster. And uh, on day one, the trader was absolutely delighted with the fact that you know, he didn't have to press a button and wait for the spreadsheet to calculate, go off and get a cup of coffee, phone his wife, pop down and get his shirts done and come back, and then the price would be there. That actually, it was just the coffee and the wife. I was delighted. But then, after a couple of weeks, it would be, you know, that pricing is taking 20 minutes. Well, it was taking an hour, but yeah, 20 minutes, you know. Can you get it down to five? So uh, it constantly, it becomes, and now, of course, there are requirements for when you're on the phone, you want to press a button, you want to get an indicative price so you can talk to your customer. And it doesn't matter if it was a dual range accrual, 30-year dual range accrual, it takes 100 cores uh, and two minutes to price. Well, you we want 200 because I want it in a minute. And, and this happens all the time. So this is why we get the growth. Uh, but it's costly. I mean, you all know that. Um, compute cores, they are going down. The per core price is dropping now because we're having multiple cores in a single blade. You can buy eight, uh, eight cores, 16 cores in a single blade. So the per core price is dropping. The standard maintenance cost, um, all in cost of a blade server of about £4,000 a year is the same as it always has been as it was a number of years ago. Um, Things, you know, prices don't really change on, in terms of the actual unit cost, but the per core cost is going down, but it's still costly. It's still going to cost you, you know, a quarter of a million pounds for just to buy, um, you know, 500 cores. And one of the reasons it's costly is because of this. Um, because we have to overestimate the capacity. This blue line here indicates the, the spare capacity that we've got in place just in case we need it. And the reason we've got to put that in place is because it takes six to eight weeks just to get some more kit rolled up. Somebody has to drive up in a van, they have to undo the boxes. You know the problem. You phone up your development environment, the development guys, and you say, well, the environment guys say, um, I'd like a new, uh, a new server, please, for development for database. They go, yep, that'll be three months. Yeah. And this can't continue. But, but it, so it doesn't continue because we overestimate. When we think we need 200 cores, we buy 400. And when we think we need, you know, 2,000, well, we might buy 3,000. And of course, we can't tell on, on peaky days whether we're going to go in to that or not, whether we're going to stretch our calculation time out because suddenly there's a new model we haven't thought of. One of the hardest things that you ever have to do, and I, my, I counsel you never to agree service levels with the business in terms of delivery of, um, of, of, sort of, of risk management measures in the morning by a certain time because they have the habit of putting very strange trades in so that what used to work and be, uh, have a, give you an hour's worth of window suddenly is spending an extra hour that you didn't know about. So you can only, I would, I would suggest that what you do is you guarantee the amount of compute resource that's available and you allow them to use that. Now, typically though, when you have all of this, 2,000 cores, when you actually measure it, on average across the, uh, across the 24 hour period, seven days a week, less than 20% is still the average utilization in investment banks. No one. In fact, I've heard CIOs admit this now. I'll stand up at conferences and they go, yep, our utilization is less than 20% across the whole estate. And there's been a lot of initiatives to address that, including virtualization, including grid, which is supposed to be the panacea. Um, and the problem is actually not that the utilization is 20%. The problem when it's being run, because grid does a really good job of taking you know, a set of compute cores and making them work really hard. The problem is the time when it's not being run. 
The problem is that your batch job runs here between 6 o'clock at night and 6 o'clock in the morning. But during 6 and 6, the rest of the day, the grid's really idle. It's not doing very much. It's inactive. It might be doing some intraday jobs. It might be doing a bit of pricing here and there. Um, but, you know, I, I have seen graphs which are so scaled because they have thousands of cores. You know, the, the little blip down here almost, it, it, it makes no sense. So it's made up of high utilization, probably about 80% usually during the batch run time. Grids are quite efficient now, particularly if you architect them right and you move the data around correctly. But in the middle time, you know, there is no, um, there's almost no utilization, which is kind of 50% spare capacity. Then the middleware licenses are the other problem here. So if you buy grid licenses, you will be encouraged by the grid vendors to purchase licenses in relation to the number of cores you have. So if you know you have to buy 300 cores, just in case the business may want to uh, use up to 300 cores, you buy 300 licenses. It's a bit like airline seats. Uh, if, you, if you're in the airline business, if you don't fill up your plane, um, you know, once the airline's left, if the seat's not occupied by someone, then that's lost money. And it's the same here. You buy the grid licenses in January. If you don't use them till December, you've got 11 months worth of lost money. And they scale linearly in line with the number of cores. And then the other thing about the grid is that you require a team of specialists. Here's a team of specialists. You can see they look very special, don't they? Um, and there was, you know, it is the case even now that grid, grid is middleware, right? Let, it, let's not make it too exciting. It's a piece of middleware that does some clever stuff in terms of scheduling. But the technologies are specialists still. And finding the right skills to manage and look after them, to architect your grid correctly, to make sure the utilization is driven up properly, um, to make sure the data moves around, you, know, you do require specialists. So it comes, becomes costly for these three reasons. To summarize, one is the amount of hardware you have to buy and the way in which you have to buy it. Two is the middleware licenses you have to buy. And three is the team of specialists. And it doesn't matter how big your grid is, typically you need three people because you've got to have people in the regions or doing 24 by 7 support looking after it. Um, and uh, half the time you'll make use of them doing other things usually, but you have to have that capability.